Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for another Frog Room Tour update. This is for January 2019. I know it's only been a month since the last update, but I've added quite a few things to the room, including this new tank, which you'll see right here. This is going to house the Qatari. Yes, I know I already have the Qatari in a different tank, but I will explain later. And I'll just give you an overall look at the way the tanks are looking right now. The large tank on the bottom there is empty, and you'll notice that it's missing some plants because I stole them to use in the Qatari tank. The tank next to it is empty, and the tank next to that currently has the Qatari. Over here we've got uh, the Salarte, Unknown Bastimentos, Calubre, Bilsa, and this is the San Lorenzo tank. Moving on to the Bullseye tank. The Cemetery Bastimentos. The Escudo tank. And the last tank with animals is the Pena Blanca tank. So before I walk around and show you the animals and see who's out, I do want to talk to you guys about my future plans. Now this current rack here with these eight 30 inch tall tanks. I am going to be selling um, in the near future. I already have a buyer, but I don't like the way that they flow with the other tanks. Um, these 22 by 17 by 24s right here, what you're looking at. Um, I like this size better anyhow than the 30 inch tall tanks. Um, also with the Pamilio and the 15 inch wide tall tanks, it doesn't really work out, but I'm going to be adding uh, six more right there and that'll complete that wall. And then these are gonna, like I say, I'm gonna sell these. The frogs that are currently in them are gonna go into the six tanks that I build, because um, I have two empties there. So the six tanks that I build right here, they are gonna house the current frogs I have in the 30 inch tall tanks. Once I sell the 30 inch tall tanks, <laughs> then I'm going to add another eight more 22 by 17 by 24. Um, so I'll give you a, a look at the new tank that I just planted today. So this is freshly planted. Obviously the plants have not had a chance to grow, but I think that's going to be a successful looking tank when it's all grown in. But as a whole, I do think the room with 24 tanks all being the same size at 22 by 17 by 24 is going to have a really clean look. You can already see how that wall is starting to already look cleaner. Um, since I've added the two tanks, so you can imagine six more tanks there. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to place the one rack, if I'm going to have it flat against the wall or protrude out like this one currently is here. Um, so I plan on having this done by the end of the year. So, you know, the tanks cost money, plants cost money. This is where the rack would be um, if I don't decide to put it flat against the wall here. It would be on the backside, you know, kind of blocking the garage door, which is fine in my opinion. So, um, Besides the tank being new, I did get a new rug, which you can see here. I warmed the room up quite a bit and I'm really digging it. I'm probably going to add another rug as well. I also got a new 27 inch iMac, a mini fridge. The remote control car is not new, but it's cool. And this is a photo taken by Zach Hare of my Lamani pair. It really makes an awesome background. And now let's get around to looking at some of the frogs. Here is the Qatari River. Uh, you can see the moss has been stripped out of their tank for the most part and most of their plants. Um, I kind of took all of the plants and moved them over to their new tank. And I'm going to let that tank acclimate a little bit before I add the frogs. And here's the lovely female yellowback who always seems to be out and willing to be photographed. Just a big beautiful frog. What's not to like about that? My last dementos were also out and calling like the dickens, so I'm going to cut my voice out so you guys can hear them call away.
here I caught some cool footage of a baby Mufaga histrionica bullseye. And at first glance, I thought it was solid black because some of my backs have the solid back pattern. But you can sort of see a little red dot starting to show through. I think these guys are just adorable when they're froglets. Um, they're just they're really cool. Lots of personality. This guy's literally only about a week old. Uh, it just came out. And you can still see they still have the infamous histrionica walk, which you'll get to see here. Even when they're babies, they still have the walk. It's by far my favorite thing about the histrionica is the way they move. And everything just looks so deliberate, which is just awesome in my opinion. Now run along, little buddy. I got Big Mama to put on film. Going to make her a star. I'm sure everybody's seen this frog before. She's just a beast of a female. You can see how big she is. Probably getting ready to lay some eggs because, uh, like I said, the froglets just came out last week. So I have a feeling I'm going to find quite a few clutches of eggs this week. And that's always a cool thing as well. Moving on, the male escudo was out. So I took a nice little shot of him. I lost my female escudo, unfortunately. I was searching the tank for babies, getting ready to take pictures because somebody wanted some, and she must have escaped, and I found her about two hours later, crispy, dried up on the floor, which was a sad day for me. Luckily, they do have seven froglets, so hopefully I can get a female out of one of the seven. Here is the Vanessa Tinctorius I'm growing up. No clue on the sex. It's probably about seven months right now. I have two of these guys and I haven't even tried to sex them because I don't like to do that until 10 to 12 months as you've seen in some of my other videos. Here's the Pena Blanca. Still I haven't really started to color up. You can see it's starting to change a little bit but hasn't become quite as contrasty as the adult female. Here's another one. You can see these guys are nice and fat and doing really well in the drip tank. This is a baby, well, I should say juvenile, uh, Sylvatica San Lorenzo. Being pretty bold there. Not really worried about me too much. Just a stunning frog. And the female was also willing to play on film today. So I couldn't resist taking some shots of her as she scampered away. And of course the green sips are always willing to be on camera. This is the nice female I have here. And here is my trusty male. I think I've had this male since 2011 maybe? 2010? I can't really remember. She's not nearly as old. But Cool frogs nonetheless. And the last frog that was really out and willing to play somewhat was the Lamani female. You can see here is sort of spazzing out. She seems to spaz out and then after she calms down she doesn't really care what I do. But anytime I get a chance to put her on camera, I absolutely go for it. And she's climbing the glass here trying to escape the camera. I don't even have the door open here and she still just wants to get away. <laughs> Regardless, it's a beautiful frog and I just love her. So she's checking me out here. Like I've said before in the past, Histrionica and Lamani, to me, they just seem like they're more intelligent, if that makes sense. Their movements and everything just seem more deliberate. Um, they seem to check me out more than some of the other frogs. They're just by far my favorite the, from the way they move to their behavior and breeding, everything. The froglets, they're just my favorite. And this here, to be honest, guys, is just me messing around with my gimbal and the app on my phone. So I've been trying to figure out a solution to my horrible handshake. And even with a gimbal, it still seems to shake like crazy. So I've been messing around with the app on the phone, and this seems to work really well. So this may be a solution for 
when I'm doing videos where I'm talking to you guys or areas where I could just be panning around, I will be using the phone app, which is pretty cool. I uh, actually did not know that my gimbal had a phone app where I could mess with the parameters and panning speed, tilt speed, all that fun stuff. So, And also, it's just an excuse for you guys to see the frog room as a whole, as it currently sits today, which it's going to look different in next month's video. So, enjoy. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this update. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Frog Room Tour. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that little notification bell. Um, I'll be posting a lot more content in the months to come. As you guys know, I'm gonna be building a lot of tanks, a lot of frogs, so uh, I plan on sharing all that stuff with you guys. And until uh, next time, keep on frogging. Remember to follow me on Instagram at ufragahistroionica. And while you're at it, you might as well follow I Am Making Art. He is a buddy of mine, Zach, and he takes incredible photos, including the one you're looking at on screen right now. So go check out his page and just look at some of the amazing photos he captures. So until next time, Goldberg out.